So today I'm going to be building a new forge out of a whole bunch of random stuff that I have around my house. As you can see here. Yeah. So here we are now, we have all this mud, and here we have it getting all built up. As you can see, I used a metal microwave casing that I had uh, protecting the blow dryer on my forge. Um, and I went ahead and pushed a hole in it, and you can see right inside of the hole is where all the coal and wood is going to be. It's mudded all nice. Down there you have the grate to where all the airflow goes in through here. I'm actually not going to use this, I'm just using this as a counterbalance because there's a lot of weight on here. I think there's about 200 pounds of mud on this so far. And as you can see, going all the way around and going up it each side. Now I just need to finish going around it with the mud and then make a lid for it. So now that we have it done, I could go ahead and show you everything. I have this on there just because it started, um, started storming right now. but. This is what we have so far. That's a place where I'm going to put um, anything I'm going to be forging, which can easily be covered. Here you have the inside. You can see the grate on the very bottom. And you can see all of this is just metal, and it's surrounded 360 degrees by mud. So that's what I have so far. Now that I have everything set up, I could go ahead and show you what's going on. I have the blow dryer connected to that tube. I had to clay the bottom part, but that's all right. And here we have the forge. This is gonna be temporary. This is just for a uh, time being. And you can see there's some cracks developing. That's all right, because if we don't, we don't really need that to be on there. That's just to stop the metal from the inside melting. As you can see here. Yeah, it heats up pretty nice. 